Uh, yes, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Life. What were you thinking? Nothing. Oh. I'll tell you later. All right. Um, I just, I looked at our um, wedding registry, and I realized something, and this was not done intentionally. <laughs> yeah, sure I was. Um, we have, like, a dining table on there, like, five times, and each time we have, like, eight of them listed. You know, we want this one eight times. The same one again, eight times. Same one again, eight times. That's not intentional, and we definitely don't need eight dining tables. I think what happened was I was trying to put a dining table on there. And I put it. Well, oh, maybe so. Maybe. Plus, I was trying to put chairs on there to go with it. And when I tried to put the chairs, somehow I didn't put the chairs on, and I put the dining table on again, and I put eight dining tables. And I don't know how to go through and edit the, the wedding registry, so... <laughs> Just one dining room table will be enough. Yeah, yeah. More than enough. Yeah. Now, um... Right now, we'd have to figure out where to put it. Yeah. I want to talk about one of the items on here. I'm pulling it up real fast, getting the the um, visitor view of it real fast. Uh, by the way, I'm uh, deleting people from my friends list on Facebook, but with 3,000 people on my friends list, it's going to take a while. I'm not going to do it all in one day. So, anyway, so now it's up. I put um, land, you know, property up here, and the one I like the most is the last one, and, you know, I, I have it listed from the most expensive to the cheapest. So, it's the last property. The thing is, uh, one, two, there are three, four places in, in the same town and county. All of them are in the same county, but three, one, two, three, four of the five, excuse me, are all in the same town. And the cheapest one, actually, is the one I like the most. Hopefully, my, my wife would like it the most as well. And um, I, I don't, let me see, I can, I can view it, uh, view or buy this gift. At Pittsburgh, how do you say, Coos? Coos. Coos County, New Hampshire, land for sale at landwatch.com. There's some really weird na county names up here. Yeah. Especially in the north end of the state. Yeah. Uh... I wonder if they're Canadian, French, or something. Uh, maybe Abenaki. Or whatever the heck that is. First Nations, Indians. No. Um, well, I don't... What, John? I don't see... It doesn't really tell you much about it from there. No. I'd have to go to the actual website where it's um, listed, I guess. But... Um, it's the cheapest one of the properties. It's fourteen thousand nine hundred. I know it's still a lot of money, and I don't think anybody that I don't think we know anybody that can get it for us. But if they could, it would be really nice to have because that's something where we wouldn't have to build the the buildings. Um, but um, it'd be nice to have. You know, and with all honesty, that pretty much by itself would be more than enough. I mean, it would be nice just to have that and pretty much nothing else. And, and, you know, I don't know anything about, you know, I've never bought property. I'm sure there's a way where you could go in there and you could negotiate a lower price or something. You know, we, of course, we would have to pay the taxes on it. Um, it probably couldn't be in our name. It would have to be like in a trust or something. But, oh, well, I mean, you know, we can handle that. Um I wonder if all cats have white whiskers. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. 
This other piece of property, 40 acres, which would be really nice. Of 40 acres. But um, it'd be nice to have like a couple hundred, 500, 1,000 acres. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, I wanted to explain that. And, you know, look, there is stuff on here that is on here multiple times. The same item, exact same item. And I know I did some of these. But, um, you know, here's the dining table. One, two, three times, the same dining table, three times from the Pottery Barn. It's not what was intended. Well, remember, both of us were on the website at the same time. Yeah. But, see, like, this dining table, okay, here it says desired, number desired one. The, the, the first two times it's on there, number desired eight. Number <laughs> desired eight. Yeah, so I think what happened was I was trying to put the chairs that we liked. No, we're going to open a restaurant. <laughs> uh, I was, we were putting the chairs that we liked on there, and we wanted eight chairs, not eight tables. So, I don't know. I mean, What can I say? So don't sabotage our restaurant. We need those tables. <laughs> <laughs> People have to sit somewhere. Yeah. You know, so you know, we're not trying to like get eight of. You know, we're not like I have. I don't know, like fifty fifty caliber rifles on there. No, we don't want fifty fifty caliber rifles. We'd have to sell all but one or two of them. Um. Yeah, you know, although I'm sure we could find people who'd buy them, we just don't know anybody that could spend that kind of money on one. So we'd have to sell them really cheap. But um, anyway, so um, yeah, I just wanted to explain that because there's stuff that are that's on there multiple times. There's stuff that I don't know, but you know the the. Let me see if I can uh, get this piece of land, uh, find this piece of land, view or buy this gift, um, continue to view or buy, okay. Um, um, uh, remember, if you buy this gift, come back to MyRegistry.com to let people know you bought it. Okay, I'm going to share this on this video so people know which property I'm talking about. Hard to find a nicer location on Back Lake. The seven rental cottages have been popular for years, all different in size with their own unique floor plans and touches. All come furnished, ready to be rented, or maybe have an exceptional exceptionally it's supposed to be exceptionally large family getaway over 400 feet of beautiful shore frontage year-round fun from your doorsteps boating swimming ice fishing snowmobiling ATV probably most favorite of all for anyone renting is a well see <clears throat> I would really wouldn't want to rent that stuff out to be honest with you um, like I said in another video what I, the yeah, we could do I that. I think we could convince him to live up here in this cold weather. Yeah. <laughs> what I would like to do is to, like, when there's an emergency, like uh, Katrina, and what was that hurricane that got Connecticut and Massachusetts? Oh. Clara or something like that? No, um, let me think. The last one. Yeah, the last one. one. No, I can't think of the name right now. Well, anyway, there was a hurricane that hit, you know, the New, New Ireland, formerly known as New England, uh, states, and... The one that tore up New York and New yeah. Jersey. And, you know, so like that, uh, you know, my, my cousin, one of my cousins down, down south, he and his uh, wife's family got hit by tornadoes. So when there's a disaster, we could, like, provide shelter for people temporarily uh, if somebody's burned out of their home like I was burned out once we can provide temporary shelter for people what's stupid is the Red Cross gives them like what three days in a hotel and yeah. That's it. yeah that's what the Red Cross was going to give me but I didn't I figure three days I mean what's well you know but anyway so 
Um, it would help a little bit. You know, you know, and it, it would have gotten me out of my mother's house. I wouldn't have had to have dealt with it. Dang bad. Yeah. <laughs> but um, anyway, another thing would be uh, like the homeless shelter. I was talking about that as well in Keene. You know, because they helped us out. They helped us out a lot. If, no, if nothing else, it was a place, a safe place to go, a, f a safe place to spend time, you know. And so that was that was nice. That was good. <clears throat> and, um, but they need a couple more houses or something. You know. So, you know, it would be nice. We could provide shelter for people over the winter, you know. And then once the springtime came, they'd have to. Go wherever. That moves. Yeah. So, you know, that would be a nice thing, having that particular piece of property. I'd like to be able to do that for people. But, you know, another thing we could do, we could make one of the cabins into an arts and crafts. Uh, or, like, reserve, like. Yeah, you know, like, because my wife does a lot of stuff, and I want to do a lot of stuff. Um, and we, having room to do it is impossible. You know, we can have one as a shop, a uh, uh, like art, workshops. Yeah, an arts and crafts studio, a home library, uh, uh, all sorts. There are all sorts of options with this. But, like I said, what I would prefer to do is to have at least one of them dedicated to providing shelter for those in need. That's it. I mean... It would have been nice if we would have had something like that, but, you know, anyway, and, you know, we could even probably even work through the Free State Project and, you know, let them know, like, look, hey, we have this, if somebody is, if there's a mover, although we'd be really careful about who it was. Yeah, and there's certain people that'd be on the ship with it no matter what. Yeah, you know, if there's a mover and they need a place to stay temporarily. And they can pay at least a little something. It wouldn't have to be much. Well, you know how it is moving. It's like, God, we're going to put everything while you're trying to find a place to live. Yeah. So, you know, we could do that. But but the main point would be people actually in need. I mean, if you're actually making the point to move up here, most people in that situation probably don't have that need because they've already arranged things. Well. <laughs> Hopefully. I mean, we didn't really have things to, to but yeah but um yes john john wants to play fetch and his little mouse one of his mice he has three that he plays with you see it rattles and um anyway so i'll put a link to that property up here but man i could go fishing all the freaking time all the time and i could go target shoot all the time all the time, and I wouldn't have to be worried about the town cop giving me a hassle about. And I have a hen house. Oh yeah, we could have a hen house. Oh yeah. <laughs> and maybe some goats. And roosters. Roosters. And a rooster refuge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could have a rooster refuge instead of people having to, you know, kill their roosters. Here's this other one. This one has Not a tail. Not their big crow. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So, um, yeah, having a cow would be a little much because they're well, big. Um, yeah, but just one cow ain't that hard to take care of. Yeah. But a horse. It, and if, a horse would be really nice. Um, and goats, I've worked well, with. Yeah, I've worked with goats. Alpacas, one or two. Goats, sheep, cattle, horses. I've not really worked too much with horses. I mean, I've ridden horses. I never really worked with them. But, um, I've never tried to saddle one. Yeah, I've never done that either. I've <laughs> that ridden be, them. I fed stand them. Stand still, baby. <laughs> yeah. You know, I remember Mrs. Hunt putting, when well, she was training the, the foals. Well, they weren't exactly foals by that point. They were young. Yeah, they were still young. Um, no, she, was, she wasn't one of these people that, that busted them. You know, the way she did it was she'd get them out there. Just, there was this, this one fence. Well, you know, like, one of the first things they try to do with them is put a harness on so they get used to wearing it. Yeah. Well, they had this little fenced area up close to the stables. And what she'd do is she'd put a blanket on the back. 
Yeah. And boy, they do not like that at all. Just so they can get used to the feel of something on their back. Yeah. And then you just put something like a light blanket on there. And then over time, because she was really gentle about it, you know. I could probably even use like a kitchen throw rug, you know what I mean? Those scrap ones, those ones that are like different strips, colors. Yeah. Just throw that on their back and oh. let them get used to that. Because you know, they, at, for, for, at first, the first three times you put it on their back, they're gonna they're gonna freak out. Because you know they can't see what's over there. That's one of the problems. It scares them. Yeah. You know, so, um, <clears throat> and then you start putting <coughs> something a little heavier, and you keep doing that. Because when you put a blanket on a horse, you put more than one on there. But um. Oh boy, I tell you what, I used to, we used to take the horses back to the back pasture, and we had to go through the creek back there, <laughs> and there was this, uh, I mean, the creek where we crossed was, you know, just, you know, a few inches deep. The horses probably didn't appreciate that. Oh, they, I don't know, they didn't. They were but, like, what the hell? But see, I knew there were gators in that, in that pond. Oh. Yeah, so I was always looking down there, like, oh boy, one of them gators going to come up and snap me off this horse. <laughs> You know, were there really alligators in there? Or just... Yeah, there were gators in there. I'm surprised in yeah. Texas. Oh, yeah, they have them in Texas. You know, you go... So... Right, the pond didn't dry up and leave it with a, a mud hole. Well, Miss Hunt told me that, that eventually, that, you know, every so often it does dry up. Yeah. And then... They the, got them out of there. Yeah, and then the gators go somewhere else. But then when the water comes back, you know, the gators... They they had two houses on the property. One was my grandparents. And make it a, make it a pig pen. The pigs would yeah. be chasing the gators. Yeah. They'd be going after them. They had two houses and the, they'd be like, get out of my mud hole. The new the new house had a pool in the backyard. Oh boy. But that was a pain in the butt with the gators running around. Uh yeah. One day they go out there and there's, there's an alligator on the pool. Yeah, he's on the bottom. He's just Damn laying it. down there. Get the shotgun. Yeah, it's like, uh oh. <laughs> but anyway, but we thankfully we don't have alligators up here. <laughs> they freeze to death up here. Yeah. We do have bear. Uh we have yeah, meerkats. They don't. I haven't even seen them, really. Yeah, you don't really see them. They, they, they're more afraid of us than we are of them. We've seen them running across the road. Yeah. Know. We've so, seen that a couple of times. Yeah, I, I'm throwing this, folks. That's what why I keep bending over. But, yeah, John likes to fetch. He's a cat. Yeah, but he doesn't bring it all the way back to you always. No. Some, most of the time he does, but well, sometimes he doesn't. Say hi to everybody, John. Sometimes he cheats. Say hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm muscles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He says, I'm in the mood to burn off some energy, Daddy. And his namesake's wife might come to the wedding. I, we're going to go ahead. She gave me her her address. I'm going to send her an invitation. She lives in Germany, though, doesn't she? Yeah. How in the world is that going to be a time? How are we going to get her all the way to where we live at? She here? she said she'll she'll try. I mean, she'll do well, it. I mean, what? where's the closest airport? You know, and then, like, oh, yeah, that's another thing for my family. You know, that like She's going to have to land in Boston and then try to get from Boston to here. Well, see, that's another thing that my family needs to know, that if you want to, when you plan on coming up here, <laughs> airports. Are few and far between around here, guys. Lebanon, Concord, Manchester. Those are the three closest places. I mean, what you're probably going to have to do if you fly is fly into Boston or New York. And then take a commuter flight to either Lebanon, Concord, or Manchester. You know, I have a feeling you're probably going to fly into Boston and then take a commuter flight to one of those three places. And we've got that adventure taxi company. I think they'll go anywhere and get people, won't they? Probably. That may cost an arm and a leg, but... Well, they might run a car. Yeah. So, anyway, so I'm going on and on this because video. We've got to drive to Concord. That could be... Yeah, we're well, well. Concord might maybe, but Manchester no. No. Um, Nashville, I can do because I went there that one time by myself. Yeah. So you know, going, we've been to Concord. My wife's been to Manchester. Well. Well, we've been to Lebanon. We've been to um. Um, what's that town north of Lebanon or south of Lebanon? South of Lebanon. Um, or the Walmart. Claremont. Claremont. I don't know if Claremont. I went that one time to Nashua, remember? Yeah. After that job. 
Uh, and I don't know if Claremont has an airport. I think they do, but I'm not I sure. Know, I don't know. But anyway, so I'll, this video is 20 minutes long and I'm rambling. You think they would have more around here? Um, um, I wonder Brattleboro. Bra Brattleboro might have one. I'd have to. I have to look. I think I looked it up once. I don't remember what came up. But anyway, so I'm gonna give you a link to that particular piece of property. <laughs> Although there are other options for property, I need to keep looking. Uh, anyway, bye. We need to win the lottery. Yeah.